Sarasota is apparently the place to look if you're trying to get a teaching job. A record number of teachers retiring this year has the district looking for qualified candidates to fill these spots. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo has details on why there's such a need now for teachers. Dwayne? Well, Haley, the district has been sending recruitment teams all over the Midwest in an effort to fill these spots by the next school year and are also looking to retain these new teachers as well. Open your Rev It Up book to page 109. For McIntosh Middle School English teacher Phyllis Flat, her students are a priority. I was one of those teachers that often put my students ahead of my own personal children. And now that she's been teaching for 30 years, the last 13 at McIntosh, she's at the realization that her tenure is coming to an end. I never thought I would ever retire. She is one of more than 150 teachers retiring in Sarasota County. Many of them enrolled in the state's drop retirement program. It allows them to collect retirement benefits while teaching. But they must retire at the end of their drop period, which typically runs five years from the time they first enter the program. So we had a large number of people go in at a certain date. They're all leaving now at the same time. The school district's director of human resources, Roy Sprinkle, heads recruiting to fill these gaps. He says the district is conducting face-to-face -face interviews. So we're doing a lot more online, uh, bringing them in through different marketing schemes and through our website. District officials also broadening their search, recruiting in the Midwest and college fairs around the state. So it's always good to get some uh, fresh mindsets from different places, get some, uh, some energy flowing back through. Not only bringing in energy, but retaining that energy for years to come. We're able to do the things we do, like our high average salaries in the state of Florida, because we're supported by the taxpayers in our referendum. And as for Flat, she's planning on doing a little recruiting herself. I'm hoping to steer my daughter even in joining um, the career. She's volunteered here quite frequently out through high school and her college years. And now that she's a graduate, we're going to see if there might be a place for her here too. And many of these soon to be retired teachers like Phyllis Flat will also come back on a volunteer basis and mentor first year teachers.